Innovation, thank you for joining us. Hey, if you have a couple minutes, stick around. We're going to show you how the modularity of our system through the process reliability, the repeatability, and the quick change process is going to help save you time and money using our products. So let's take a look at some of the items that we have to show you today. We're going to work our way from the table up just to introduce you to Lang. Down here at the bottom is a quick point 96 plate. On top of that is a 96 riser to an adapter riser, 96 to 52, and finally a 52 vise on top. So we brought you up to the top. Now we're going to look at some vices. Lang offers vices in three different sizes. 77 mil base, 77 mil jaws, 125 millimeter base, 125 millimeter jaws, and a 77 millimeter base to the 46 millimeter jaw tapered. Pretty interesting here as we start talking about interchange, reliability, modularity. These jaw sets here all fit on this vise right here. Let's take a look at what those all are. Give you a little overview. Up here on the Macro Grip 77, we have our Macro Grip serrated jaws. The profile of these jaws is identical to that of our stamping unit for process reliability and repeatability. Down here we have our Macro Grip standard base jaws that do not have any serrations. Variotech Macro Foregrip for clamping round stock. And we have two soft jaw options here. The Bolt-On Profilo and the Quick Change Avanti. So any one of these options can be put onto this vise here. And we're going to show you just how easy that quick change process is. Before we do that, let's make sure that our vise is secured. The Lang system operates with actuation screws. This actuation, as you tighten it, you're going to slowly see the vise suck down onto the riser. I'll do it again for you real quick here. It really pulls it down and tightens it. Now before we do anything else, we want to appropriately torque. Click. And now we feel confident in our ability for a real quick change up top. Using a drill adapter, you insert into the side of the vise and simply back the jaws out. Now that they've stopped, you're going to look and you're going to see there's a left side and a right side to the vise and there's a left side and a right side to the jaws. So when you pull them off, you're simply just going to turn them around, grab your drill adapter, and bring them in. Now this is a self-centering vise, so you want to make sure that it is timed correctly as you reach the center, and it's perfect. Back them off a little bit. That's the secret of the self-centering vise. If it's not timed appropriately, you'll be able to see it and it will affect your repeatability. So pay attention up there. Now the next step here is that we are going to tear this down, build it back up. We're going to explain to you a little bit about the modularity of the system as mentioned earlier. We have 96 on center riser right here. We have 96 on center adapter plate. When you insert the adapter plate into the riser, we're now at a 52 mil on center. The pull studs that we offer, which you've seen in the bottom of the vise and the adapter plate, 52 falls right in. If you pull this out, 96 falls right in. So as you start looking at your work holding within your facility, Please know that just the use of these pull studs can help change over almost any work holding that you may have in your facility. Please ask us if you have questions, but a real simple investment allows you to utilize laying work holding if you see what you like today. The next step in this is how simple can our modularity get? How simple can the laying system get? Well, let's look here. So we were talking actuation earlier, and now we're going to drop a vise on it. Previously, we were going to torque it out and make sure it's nice and tight, but this is our quick lock. What the quick lock does is it brings it to the appropriate spec in just the twist of a handle. Now watch here as we pull this handle over, and it sucks it down there. We'll do it again for you. Brings it down. 
This is very popular in automation. It's also very popular in our facility. It's a very quick ease of use. You can pull it right out, slide it right back in. And this is when we start talking about reliability, process repetition, interchangeability. You can repeat on and off the Lang system all day long at less than or equal to five microns. So we've showed you the table, we've showed you some vices, we've showed you some plates, we've showed you a lot of things, but there's one thing we want to show you before we leave today, and that's a little bit that we've touched on with regards to automation. This here is relatively the same setup, a laying plate, a laying riser, and our new Vasto plant. The difference here is pneumatics. You turn the air on, and it's gonna allow you to pull the part out. This is still along the lines of repeatability. Turn the air off, it sucks it right down. Turn the air on, air off. So the pneumatic option, alongside the quick lock, you can do things manually, you can automate it, but at the end of the day, Lang offers work holding that you can trust, you can believe in. We're here to help support you and answer any questions you might have. We thank you for taking your time today and look forward to working with you. So have a great day. Thank you.